us. Well, he's an up and coming artist from right here in Detroit. He's done work for Ford, Atwater Brewery, Art Prize, and so much more. His name is Tony Rocco, and we have the pleasure of having him on our show here this morning. So, good morning, Tony. Good morning. Thanks, now, Jennifer. This is a fun style of art. Can you talk to us about your artistry? Well, um, we're doing a rebrand for Atwater Brewing Company. Sure. And um, they're rebranding 26 labels. So uh, for this particular project, we went with more of a quirky style of art, you know, a little more appropriate for the spirits and stuff. Yeah, take a look at that. And, it looks uh, pretty cool, if you can see it there, guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, <clears throat> and it's a huge opportunity. Um, 26 states, uh, as well as Canada. So... Um, you know, a, a great chance to get national exposure and... Yeah, how did you get started with art? Um, <clears throat> I think that Ford Motor Company and the UAW was really my first break. Okay. Um, I started out on the assembly line um, back in 1990. It was Interesting. Like, yeah, like 18 years old and um, they had taken notice of uh, some artistic abilities. Okay. And um, pulled me off the assembly line and we started a plant beautification program. So is that where the inspiration came from? Because you know that was my next question. Where did the inspiration? Uh, the inspiration, I, you know, my surroundings I think. Um, I mean, look at these guys. They're they're absolutely ridiculous, <laughs> and and these are these are like cats you would find in my living look room. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. You guys see that? It's just so yeah. interesting. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're. I thought they're part of the artwork. They're not. They're just. Well, they're the inspiration behind <laughs> the artworks. Uh, uh, Callis here is is my Irish friend, and and for Corktown, they wanted. Um, yeah, tell us about the brewery project. Yeah, they wanted to. Um, me to uh, develop a character that looked as if he would have been an Irish immigrant from the 1800s, uh, a train conductor. Okay. And I just happened to have a ridiculous <laughs> Irish looking friend, so. <laughs> it just um, worked out that way. Yeah, and I kind of wanted it to possibly look as if it could be his like great great grandfather or something oh. of the sort. So. Okay, and so tell us about, you have a gallery, you're going to be in a gallery coming up? Yeah, exploring the figure okay. um, at the Janice Schrock Gallery. Nice. Um, I'm in a group show there. Uh, gorgeous gallery. If you haven't been, it's like one of the most beautiful galleries in Michigan. Um, ten um, celebrated Detroit artists. Okay. So definitely, if you haven't been, it's it's worth going to see. And you've got the spirit of Detroit here too, right? Can you tell us really quickly uh, if we have Derek show like these frames, but this one specifically, where you tell me what's yeah. the inspiration, or tell us more about that. Well, um, the frame, uh, these these materials are, are salvaged um, from architectural homes and uh, Detroit homes. Mm -hmm. um, these are this is a window sash. Um, you know, random like old Salvation Army frames, and we kind of collage those together, and um, hopefully it's authentic and 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 speaks Detroit. Okay, where can people see this art? See you. Uh, talk to us. Um, well, in any supermarket okay. in 26 states. Okay. Um, the Janice Schrock Gallery, um, Lafonse Gallery in Grand Rapids, and we're slowly working up for a, um, a solo show in the spring. So oh, stay nice. tuned. And the cost. The cost. Um, I don't know. He doesn't want to know. tell us. It's great artwork, guys. So <laughs> try to catch him if you can. Look at this beautiful artwork. Of course, we've always got the information on our website, WXYZ.com.